A 53 year old man has been arrested in connection with three armed robberies. Two are at a bank in Cold Lake and Pinoca, and one was at a dollar store in Bonneville. That was the latest one. Now, those robberies took place over the last two weeks. The accused was finally caught yesterday after the dollar store robbery. Now, police say Joseph Albert Rogers of no fixed address. Address was involved in a tussle with the store clerk before taking off on foot with an undisclosed amount of money. He was later arrested by Cole Lake RCMP at a roadblock. Rogers is facing several charges, including three counts of armed robbery. He is expected to appear in Bonneville Court on August 6th. More than 20,000 people are expected to walk through the gates of the Vermilion Fair this weekend. Now this morning, a parade kicked off the festivities. Kim Smith was there and tells us what you can expect over the next three days. I have one long in one big eye. This year, George Cap decided to dress up as a flying purple people eater from the 1958 hit song. It's just uh, nostalgia, I guess I like. And, uh, just, I was a teenager when that song was out, and that was just my, my love for the song, I guess. Families lined at the streets in Vermilion for the annual parade. I like uh, those little cars where the, uh, the older people went in. They look so small in it. I like the way. I like the cute little ponies. How come? Because they're so little. Hi. Hi. Many floats this year paid tribute to Lakeland College's 100th anniversary. They had a chicken plucking class at Lakeland College, so we got some chickens and we are plucking them. Chicken. <laughs> yes. So 100 years of Lakeland College and the chicken plucking class. What's the theme this year of your float? Um, happy birthday, 100 years. The Vermilion Ag Society is paying tribute to Lakeland College by painting its windmill green and gold. A great event for us, uh, a milestone for them, and they're good neighbours, so we appreciate having them next door. If the sunshine holds out for the next few days, the Vermilion Fair is expected to draw 25,000 people. It'll be crazy. There's lots to do for everybody, and even if you just put a few minutes in at each event, there will be uh, something to see at all times. That includes 23 rides, plus games and food vendors, and some new additions. Come down, you can definitely check out our new Flavor Burst ice cream. There's multiple flavors, anything from cotton candy to uh, pistachio to raspberry. The family-run business, West Coast Amusements, arrived with more than 150 workers Monday to set up. So what you see here now is a product of a day and a half. Everybody is super excited to be here. We love the location. It's a beautiful fairgrounds. We're hoping for lots of sunshine. Last year we got rain out on the Saturday. The Vermilion Fair is on until Saturday. Kim Smith, Newcap News.